Kevin, Angela Horse Cup final coming up, exciting, must be starting to kick in. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, for me, it's been uh, two years in the making from last year, you know, uh, building, building the side from last year. But for the girls, I suppose it's been more than that, it's been four or five years, you know, so yeah, can't wait. In terms of that group, I know you're only involved the last two years, but has is there been much of a turnover in players, or is it the same kind of group for the last maybe four or five years? Um, I suppose maybe the last four Four years has been pretty much the same for me per personally. For over the last two years, it's been pretty much the same, the same group of players and the same, the same squad. Yeah, with a few, a few new additions uh, coming in this year. In terms of the group it itself, you know, just maybe talk us through how much effort these girls are actually putting in. These girls are unreal. They know, they know what I think. I'm very proud of them. Um, just the fact that I came in last year and just seen a team that with loads of technical talent and stuff like that that just needed a bit of structure and I knew I knew straight away that they were a team that I could work with and, and, and hopefully you know uh, mould into you know finalists if you like um, it's we were look I'll, not, I'll, not, I'll be honest we were looking to, to do this last year but uh, straight away because I think they're that, they're that talented but look they've, they've learned a lot of lessons we've grown up the last two years and yeah this year we're hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll be able to win it in the ninth you have had a really good campaign and you know, you show great character in the semi-final coming from two goals down against combined counties to, to win that game. So, you know, as you mentioned, the side isn't lacking in character anyway. No, like, uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I was, I was saying before that it's, it, was, it was a big thing to come back from 2-0 down. I mean, like, personally, I know the attitude of the players anyway, so I wasn't surprised that they were doing it, that, that they could do it, uh, because I knew, I mean, at half time we had a talk and it was all calm in the dressing room. And it was, there was no problem, so we just said, we, we have a problem, we're going to fix it, and we did it. You know, you, you defeated Kilkenny all early in this tournament as well this year. Um, do, you know, do you think there's more pressure on them coming in as champions, or maybe yourselves coming in, or you know, what way do you buy into that? Yeah, no, that's a good question, in fairness. Uh, look, uh, it, it's been tough over the last few years because we've, had, we've, we've found it tough to beat uh, Kilkenny. But we got our monkey off. We got the monkey off our back this year already during the group stages. So uh, that that gives us confidence. But at the same time, I mean, we're in uncharted territory here with regards to this final. Whereas Kilkenny have been there three three years, two years, and they've won it two years in a row. Like so, so yeah. I mean, as a neutral, it'd be hard to call who who the winner would be. But yeah, so I I can't see. I can't, I wouldn't say there's there's a there's a favourite either side. The fact that it is in Carlow in the IT, do you think that will play an advantage? I think so. As long as as long as we're not overawed by the occasion, I think yeah, that that certainly will be the advantage. Obviously, we're we've uh, been training on that field as well, so um, yeah, it certainly will be an advantage. But once again, as long as we're able to overcome the uh, the spectacle of the game, um, yeah, I think it could be an advantage. But once again, on, on the other side of things, you might find that there's there'll be a few more nerves involved because of that as well. So. I spoke to Ashley and Kelly there, and they said, like, you know, they're, they're going out playing against each other at the weekends, but it's not hampering the, the team in terms of spirit and in terms of the collective effort they're putting in. Um, that's fantastic, because, you know, it can be troublesome when there is kind of two fixtures in the way, but the fact that these girls can come together and, and leave everything that happened at the weekend at the weekend and then produce it together, that, that's, that's a serious asset to have on the side as well. Well, there's no doubt. I've seen them play against each other as well, and they're fiery affairs, you know, so... You're right in a way that it, it, they, it is. It's a great. It's a tribute to them that they're able to to leave those uh, uh, rivalries aside. And then, like for me, there's a fantastic atmosphere. There always has been. And it's not just where they don't just they don't just uh, mingle with their own players. They, they, they mingle with each other. Do you know what I mean? It's not like there's 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 cliques within the group. They're all mingling together. So it's a great. There's always a great atmosphere in the changing room. Finally, then, what do you think it will come down to on the day? Um. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a close one to call. To be honest, um, I think our girls have the talent to win it, and just purely through technical ability, I think we should we should be able to take it on the day. Best luck and thanks for taking the case, Laura. All right, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank